Hi guys, Ben here with some tips on chest to bar pull-ups. So guys, tip, tip number one is just to keep tight. Body tension is key. Keeping tight through space generates power, keeps your rhythm smooth and helps you get up. It helps you get up higher to the bar, ensuring that that chest touches it when you most need it. Tip number two is when we're jumping to the bar, just like the toes to the bar, you jump up in a nice hollow position, feet to the front, kick back and then get going. So jump onto the bar, make sure you're in line with the bar. We don't want to be behind the bar like the bar muscle up. Start underneath the bar, jump forward, back, and then get yourself going. You guys, point number three is to make sure that you hit the sweet spot at the front of the swing whilst we're commencing this butterfly pull-up. So we're going to come through at the very front of the pull-up. We're going to come through with that leg at about 45 degrees. And then we sort of hit this imaginary bar. And then we go up in that pull-up with our leg coming back. And then we drop and we push that chest forward, keeping that back leg back in that position. So getting that sweet spot at the front really sets you up for the whole rep and also consecutive reps to follow that. If you miss the timing at that sweet spot at the front, i.e. you go too early, you're too eager to get going, or you come up too high, then what's going to happen is you're going to accumulate an off swing and that's going to take you off the bar. So when we're jumping up, very important, forward, back, hit the sweet spot. What we don't want to do is go early, okay, or too high. You want to hit that nice spot and get the legs back. You guys, a very important tip is to make sure that once we've done our pull action, we've pulled at the top of the bar, our chest is out, hips are open, leg is extending to the back, is to make sure that we do this negative pull up position in an arch position, holding that leg backwards. A lot of people do this movement and they come up and they're dropping that leg, dropping themselves, but their leg comes down, they lose tension in the hip, they lose that position at the back. This makes a big negative impact in the overall scheme of this butterfly pull up because you're just missing a dot. A very important dot connects this nice and fluent, makes it smooth. So if I come up, if I extend my legs to the back, I'm just holding that back arch position. If I drop my legs, Okay, starts to make it a very awkward movement and you're going to lose the rhythm very quickly.